So I'd like to review an easy document management system that can be applied anywhere. The example that I'm showing is my personal system within dot loop. I personally pay for a dot loop and have, um, if the agents are not with dot loop, I upload to their document management system second. So I'll just kind of walk through what it looks like at intake. Um, so the form would be submitted by the agent and I would, of course, jump into their system and start organizing my dot loop loop for them. So um, <clears throat> I always start by adding a few folders. You'll see here we've got an incomplete folder, parties, command, inspections and repairs, the contract folder and the listing folder, or this might be just the brokerage document folder for buyers or sellers. So once we've added um, all of these here, we will start everything in incomplete and then trickles its way down to the contract or brokerage folder. So in the incomplete, I'm going to upload anything that I need to rename to uh, go along our document naming system. For example, we just received this addendum. I would go in here and read the addendum, look at where we are with signatures. So it looks like this one is uh, the seller's response to be uh, on the inspection notice to be extended to Wednesday. No one has signed. So I'm going to put addendum one. So this is addendum one, extending the uh, buyer's inspection notice, seller's response response um, to six one. And then I always tag it at the end with what we need. Um, if we needed any corrections, I might put it in parentheses. If we needed signatures, I will put minus B and S sign, so the buyer and the seller need to sign. Um, if it was the buyer's agent, I would put B A and seller's agent S A. If it was the broker, I would put minus B R sign. Um, so that naming convention is always at the very end, I add what we're missing in order to uh, have this fully executed. So this is going to sit here until it's been signed. Then I'll go in and rename it to, we're representing the seller here, so it would be minus B sign. So once it is uh, minus B sign, I'm waiting on the uh, cooperating agent, I'm going to stick this down in the pending from co-op section. So I've added this placeholder just as a separator for the things that we're working on and the things that the cooperating agent still need to work on getting to us. Once, let's just say this here is returned to me, um, signed by the buyer, I'm going to download it for my email, click and drag to replace this document, and then I'll rename this. Six one FE fully executed. Once it's fully executed, I will want to put it in the parties folder. The parties folder is going to be um, the documents that need to be shared with specific people in the transaction. So uh, for this one, addendum one, we're going to have to send this to title and the lender. Um, the cooperating agent already has it, um, and I already sent it to uh, the seller through here, but I might just go ahead and share it through dot loop to them or have them back copied on the email that I send to title and the lender. So once that is done there, we've gone ahead and put it here in the parties folder. Um, we've sent it to all parties. Now we're going to now we're going to move it once it's been sent to all parties, we're going to move it to the command folder um, or the compliance folder. So this is the folder will house all the documents that have been completed and sent to all parties. 
my compliance manager will then come in here and upload this document to command or compliance and then move it to either the inspections, contract, or listing folder, depending on what type of document it is. If it has anything to do with inspections, um, I would add it here. Um, if it has something to do more along the lines of the contract, I would add it here instead. So we just want to keep all of the inspection documents. It could get pretty big with termite, septic, home, um, the, the buyer's inspection notice, and the documents that come back and forth, invoices. Um, this can get pretty big, and I don't want to crowd up my contract folder because if I go to my contract folder, I want to quickly just go to exactly what the document I want. I need is. Um, so I put all of the inspection and repair documents in one place and then all of these go out to the client uh, at the end of the transaction. So it gives me uh, an opportunity to, to bundle all of those inspection type documents and send them off all at the same time um, at the end. Um, everything in the contract folder is uh, the things that we have had um, completed, sent to all parties, uploaded to command, and um, have something to do with the contract itself. So I think that's a good summary of how to use the system. Um, you could easily set the system up in anything. Um, for example, we could do something very similar in something like Todoist. It doesn't need to be dot loop and it doesn't need to be uploading the folders. Um, I'm sorry, it doesn't need to be uploading the documents. It can just be you typing out what that document is, what it is that you're missing, so that you can follow the system and keep track of where your documents are. So it, I personally have dot loop where I am downloading, clicking, dragging to my dot loop as well as going into their system. And if that's not something you want to do where you're uploading documents to multiple places, just create the system where you're keeping track of, track of the documents um, as just placeholders. You don't need to upload to that document placeholder. A lot of software uh, out there that support uh, transaction coordinators do have like um, a document management type uh, system built in. Um, and I would just, you know, you, you, you want to think about you're using your agent's platform, you're using your own system, you're using your own platform for transaction coordination. Um, so I, I feel like it's important for me to bring this in internally because I want to keep very close eye on where we are on those documents and this is what makes sense to me. Um, if I'm using the agents folders, uh, they can jump in and put things in the wrong places or put things in the contract folder when you're not ready for them. Some software don't support a folder structure where you can organize them like you see here. Um, so I would just recommend bringing a, an internal process for document management for your business uh, just because it is one of the important things that we need to keep a close eye on and we want to be able to have control over the things that are coming in and making sure that they're dispersed into the right places. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any follow-up questions. I'm happy to uh, dive back in. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining me. If you find any value in my content, be sure to like and subscribe. It'll get in front of more people and you'll get notifications when I post more videos. If you need any help with software, systems, tools, Feel free to go onto my website, www.tcoptimize.com, and I am happy to help any way that I can. I'll see you next time.